So uh, the next exercise is a version of uh, Furitama Undo. Uh, Furitama translates as uh, shaking the, the jewel or shaking the orb or shaking the soul. Um, so Tama's, uh, I, I guess, is sort of punning a little bit on, uh, on the word which can mean jewel or orb or can mean soul. So uh, in this version of the exercise, you can start just by stacking your body up and uh, just relaxing, letting your breath settle down into your tummy a little bit, so let your tummy be soft. And uh, then we're going to begin, as the arms come up, we're going to breathe in until the hands come right up the top. At the top here, as your arms come down, sort of a feeling like a, maybe a coffee plunger, bringing your breath down into your belly, and belly all the way around, so right down into your pelvis, front sides and the back and right down into your pelvis and uh, then you're going to breathe out as you're shaking and uh, then cycle through again so when you bring the arms up often what people do is they kind of hike their shoulders up so um, you can think a little bit like uh, maybe like you're spraying water out the tips of your fingers and coming up and through usually from about 90 degrees on the way up kind of a change in how you need to go about doing things. At the top of the movement here, the hands come together and you want to have a feeling like uh, your fingertips are sort of being lifted up and then the whole of your body is hanging down away from your fingertips. So you want to feel like you're suspended by your fingertips. You let the tension out of your body and then you release the hands as they start coming down. So it's generally a feeling of sinking all the way through the body, that coffee plunger feeling. And then the hands come together uh, a little bit like you were, you know, when you were a kid and you'd squirt water out of your hands. You want a little bit of space between your hands. Um, your hands kind of softly but um, well closed over one another. And then you begin to, to shake the hands. And so naturally, if your fingers were just sort of interlocked, or particularly if the hands are one over the other here, um, for most people, the hands will fall right about where the, um, uh, the dantian is, the, the, the center of your body. So hands around about there, and then you just let go of that as you begin the movement again. So breathing in. Sinking down. Breathing out. In. Sinking down. Breathing out. And so on. And you just do that at your own pace. Uh, don't you don't want to struggle for breath? You want nice full um, breaths, but don't overdo it. Don't struggle. And um, when you're bringing the breath down into your body, don't bear down and sort of push down into your pelvis. Um, it, use much more just the, the kind of the imagery of the, the coffee plunger coming down, rather than, you know trying to bear down as if you're um, struggling on the toilet. So that's not going to be good for your internal organs. You just want that nice nice sinking feeling. And you know, repeat as many times as you like. This exercise is um, quite closely linked with the third Zibidi book. So you can kind of mix some ideas together there. So that's a version of Furitama Undo, and uh, see how it goes.